Yeah, you know, when you're coaching somebody, generally what you do is you let uh, them figure it all out. Okay. And they, they figure it out and they do it. Now, her, see, personally, I would never coach anyone who wouldn't get on camera. Okay. So, coaching is $5,400, and it also happens on ca camera, so, <laughs> you know. Okay. So, what you got there is somebody who, you know, you're going to just have to see how she does, and maybe she'll change her mind and get on camera. Because getting on camera is about helping other people. Right. And if she doesn't want to help anybody but herself, she probably can't help herself either. But, or she may be able to do something that's very limited. See, there's a scale. Like people are able to do different things for themselves. And maybe she can do enough so she's ready to get on camera. Okay. You I know? can work on that. Yeah, she has to open up and, and feel... Like, yeah, you, uh, well, hold up your hand and test a couple of things, okay? Okay. Um, is, uh, is her not, this is your mother we're talking about now, right? Yes. Okay, is her not wanting to be on camera, is it a symptom? I don't know. I, I'm not getting anything. Okay. She never has liked cameras, so I don't know. Yeah, so is that a symptom? Is that a symptom? She never has light cameras. Is that a symptom? Is that a symptom? Um, I get a little tingling in my ring finger. Am I running a symptom? Yes? Okay. So you're going to, maybe, maybe you, when you do it with her, you can get to what your symptom is. Okay. So you can both look for your, you know, but see, we don't know what these are symptoms of. Like, do you know what your, your symptom is and what it's a symptom of? No, I don't right now. So you don't really know that much about what's going on with you. But let me, no. give, let me give you a clue, okay? All right. Number one, you cannot coach your mother, ever. Okay. This is not coaching what we're doing. And also, I am not coaching you. This okay. Is, this is not coaching. I'm making movies with you to help people <laughs> cure things. We're demonstrating lessons. Coaching is completely different. Okay. Coaching is $5,400, and generally, if, you're, if you were going to coach somebody, you would really need to charge them $5,400 to coach okay. them, because uh, you would just find that it's <clears throat> absolutely too much work for you. <coughs> Even though you live with your mother, right? You, you live together. Yeah. yeah. And you love her, and you're with her. If you actually ever did try to coach her, you would probably find that you just can't do the, the, that amount of work with somebody unless that's really your job. It would have, okay. it would have to be your job, you know, because that's what it is. You know, it's a job. And, but you can be your mother's friend and you can do the lessons together and stuff. Right. And also, right. people need buddies, they need friends, they need good influences, people need role models. You know, they need a lot of things, not just coaches. That's correct. And most people don't have coaches because they don't want to be coached. Because coaching, it's very difficult to be coached. Okay. Like, think about who gets coached, right? Olympic athletes. Yeah, that's true. You know, and, you know, so if you're not, if you don't have that kind of commitment, the last thing in the world you want is somebody at that level with you. Okay. You know, because if you ever watch, you, you watch sports ever? Uh, occasionally, I'm not. I'm not a sports person. Okay, coaches are those those old guys with the cigars in their mouths, and they run up to the players and smash their heads into their heads, you know, and, <laughs> and say, "Scream, you idiot, you! What are you doing? I'll kill you!" You know. Now get back out there and win. You know. <laughs> That's what they. You know, the coach is the person who stands on the sidelines and yells at you that you're doing it wrong. <laughs> so, yeah. most oh, people. I'm definitely not the coach. <laughs> yes, most people don't want that. You know. <laughs> so, uh, kind of get an idea. I can go back and, and do pretty much what we've been doing to show her how to start and let her do that from there. 
you got to get down to the bottom of these symptoms you just accessed. Okay. The most important thing to cure anybody, and especially something like what your mother has, because she has a self-caused disease. Okay. CO COPD. Well, is it self-caused? Do you know that about it? I'm beginning to, to learn that in the, this last week. Yeah, okay. Yeah, and it's, it's much more directly self-caused than most other diseases. Okay. I mean, this is something that the person knows they have this or that bad habit, but they keep doing it and they get COPD. That's how that works. Okay. A lot of people are that. For a lot of people, they know why they've got it. You know, they know what they did to themselves. Okay. I mean, which might you know that might cause somebody to be reluctant to get on camera and actually get exposed like that. Well, I don't think that that's the problem. Okay. Well, I, I'm not saying it is. Like camera. It's just something that it's just something that you know to think about. Yes. But anyway, certainly, you need to get to the bottom of, whenever you see a symptom in yourself or anybody else, your number one order of business is to get to the bottom of the symptom. Okay. Okay, find out what's causing it, take out the cause, and then take out other things and keep doing that until the symptom is gone. Okay. And, you know, if, you're, if your mother can lose that symptom, that could take her a long way towards curing COPD. All right, I'll, I'll talk to her about it and uh, see if we can't come up with something. Well, did, did you ever try, you know, cooking while walking your dog? <laughs> no. <laughs> well, like trying to protect yourself from pr public scrutiny while curing a disease is sort of like that. It's very difficult. Okay. It's like you're doing two things at once. You can either hide or cure, but probably not both. All right. And hiding. I'll, I'll, I'll let her know what's going on here. <laughs> Good for you, Shelly. Well, I, I will see if I can change her mind. I, you know, well, um, it's, oh, it's she too late. She's been afraid of the camera. And too late this, for today. Too late for today. Yes. But um, no problem. You're doing great. And right. that's the important. The important thing is you doing well. I, I am. I'm doing very well, and I, I'm. I found it um, yesterday. You had told me to try and find uh, something with the chiropractic that has the spinal cord, or not the spinal cord. The uh, yeah, the spinal cord. Right. And I found uh, I found an interactive uh, website. Great. That if if I push whatever the C three or a T five or whatever those right into those vertebrae, it right. pops up with the with the organs that are affected oh great send um, me a link yes i i have it if, if you'd like I'll, I'll email you that link Lin send me a link i'm going to link to this because i i really enjoyed it and it's wonderful uh, it's, uh, that's what we in california we need this this is great thank you okay I'll, you, I'll email that as soon as we're through here do you understand what it means to be a colleague yes this is it right Yes. You are my colleague. Yes. And I respect and appreciate you. I'm, well, thank you. I, I, it's mutual. I'm very I, grateful I, uh, to I'm you. really excited about this. <laughs> if, I could, if I could just get this Immunix down well enough that I don't fall asleep when I'm through with it. No, you want to fall asleep. That's great. For, oh, so is that what I'm supposed to do? That may go on for years until you rest up. Ah. And you know what? Sure, let it sure puts me down. <laughs> Shelly, let go of your mother. Okay. Let go of your mother. You're too old for a mother. Okay. <laughs> All right, sweetie. I'll, I'll, uh, tell, let me know later. Leave me a message if I don't answer. Tell me everything, okay? Okay, we'll okay. do. All right, bye. Bye. Okay, bye. -bye. Okay.